So you got a red cat Gen 8 and you broke an axle housing. Well, you don't really want to spend the money for the big aluminum one, but you do want a little more strength. Well, that's where this comes in. These things are currently listed at about $10 on the Red Cat site. RER11939. I'm going to put these on my Red Cat Gen 8 and take it for a drive. Take a look. To get this project started, you got to take your wheels and tires off. Obviously, you got to take your axles completely apart. Now the fronts, you can leave the portals together because those will go into the new uh, C-hubs on the new axle housings. Um, but your links got to come loose. Those are the uh, MFR links, so that's the Bauhaus belly. I highly recommend these parts and pieces, guys. So now with the rear, you got to take it all apart, and you're going to have to open up your portal case because, well, you got to reuse those gears into the new housing. With the new axle, you get some double shear for your shock mounts right here and here. You can put them in the back in the stock location if you want, but I'm going to go ahead and use these. And now this bag right here has some different screws in it that I'll show you guys in just a second. So, yeah, so far I'm liking it. With this, you can see the new shock ball ends right there. Now, these screws right here are the ones I was telling you about. They actually go through the top once you get this uh, small three screws that actually hold the C-Hub in place. So once you take that off, you'll reuse those screws to pull this one in place. And then the shock goes right down in between here. And that's the bolt that goes through there. As far as the back goes, you just have a regular bolt that just goes right through. Now what's neat is this also supports the C-Hub assembly, you know, for loads and when you're jumping around a little bit. To get the axle gears out of either end, take those six screws out and the cover comes off and then your gear comes off along with the spool, and then you have the pinion gear. Now, I have seen guys post up where the screw was loose and the pinion gear came off and caused issues. I did find my screw was actually loose. Um, yeah, loose screws, huh? Uh, <laughs> but the gears actually look to be in great shape, so there's no issue there. I just simply tighten the screw up, and, um, well, time to reassemble into the new housing. With the gears in place, I'm going to add a little bit of grease to the teeth on it. Now, also, when you work on the front end, be careful of these little bushings right here. Don't lose them. You'll have to reuse them into the new axle housing. Keep in mind with the front end, if you're going to put the shocks in the new double shear configuration, make sure you put that in before you put the steering knuckle on. If not, you're going to be taking the steering knuckle right back off. I got the front end reassembled and I was still able to use this steering brace because of, you know, lateral movement in the axle from that mount shifting, but I did have to change the bolt a little bit. Hopefully I can make that work back up underneath there. Now it's time to move on to the rear axle. At this point, both axles are done. Now the rear axle was a little bit more simple. Just make sure you remember the bearings that you had to swap over out of the old portal housing the end pieces. And I did have an issue with the pin. The drive shaft pin, yes, I had to drill that dude out. And now we have this big, ugly four millimeter pin in, in it. It'll work. I'm probably going to trim it a little bit to try to dress it up. But these are ready to go back in. With tires and body, it is ready to go. Now, as far as, you know, performance boost with these axles, I really don't think we're going to see anything. So basically, I'm just simply going to drive around for a few minutes and maybe just pick a subject and talk about it maybe it'll be interesting to you maybe not it's probably going to be about motors let me consider something while we work our way over to the next course hmm let me think now this is a really tough climb right here i mean really bad i probably should just pick this up and um just like ugh, this ain't gonna work well all right that's a little bit better so I can make it here nope we'll give this climb another try and just to see maybe I'll get lucky with it I'm on the steep part right now. Oh, yeah, that ain't gonna work. 
You know, it's, it's amazing with this climb. It's like sometimes it'll just, like you're gonna walk right up it and then it just doesn't work out very well. And then you do that. You're like, yay, I made it. Then you don't want to fall off again. There we go. All right, all right. Okay, now let's start thinking about that subject. Okay, I got it. We're gonna talk about brushed motors. How about that? And to go a little bit further with that, we're gonna talk about making brushed motors survive. I recently did a video on this about some, you know, trying to keep something like a Holmes Hobbies 12 turn motor alive in a crawler. It appears some guys are burning them up quite a bit. And in that video, I talked about you know, stalling your motor. And you kind of got to drive accordingly. I mean, you can stall a brushless motor a little bit better, but you know, they tend to take the abuse a little bit better. The brushless, brushed, oh wow, that is a heck of a lean for this truck. Got a little clickety clack too. Still seems to be pulling. So we're just gonna cruise along here and get back on the subject. Don't stall your brush motor. That pretty much sums it up. Stalling that brush motor just does nothing but causes you problems. Then you burn it up and then you're like, oh, look at this. Oh man, I thought I was gonna get to smoke them. Ooh, wow. Surprised at how well that got up there because that was not really on the board. pine straw stuck in there. When you live in Florida, pine straw is a way of life. It unfortunately just is. And if you happen to want shade, then you're either going to have, ooh, look at that. Got a diff on that thing. Wow. Now the diffs don't hang lower with the new axle housings. That was just, me talking and driving well put it this way talking recording with one hand and driving with the other while trying not to fall off this thing yeah now as far as the uh wow something changed here let's see here no did not need it survived but i'm gonna go off something changed here huh thought there was a board there maybe not and i still haven't put anything here i will soon at some point in time um what was the subject we were talking about not stalling your brush motor yeah just don't do it. When you started saying, friends don't let friends don't let friends stall their motors. <laughs> oh boy. I'm not sure much else I can show you with this. I mean, drives just fine. Will it rip a donut? No, it will not. Will it do one this way? Um, no. Well, at least it hasn't flipped over. <laughs> oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, okay, let's check something here. I'm surprised. I did show you guys something cool. So the install went fine. No hiccups, uh, just everything bolted together really well. Um, as far as the driving part goes, you know, there wasn't really much to show. Um, can't really say there's a performance advantage on this versus the stock housings, other than durability. You know, that top bolt is absolutely going to help the durability of it out there as well. Now, I was talking about, you know, motors and all, you know, just kind of babbling on, and I mentioned the 12 turn homes. Well, I didn't really think about it at the time, but this has actually got the 12 turn homes 
Trailmaster Sport 550 in it. And it's been in here for months. It's been in pretty good. So no complaints at all. Um, I don't stall it. If I see a stall situation, I back off and I drive around. Well, anyway, guys, there are links in the description for the axle housings and other parts on the truck and all that. So make sure you look in there. And as always, thank you all for watching.